guys the merch come on the merch store is back up and you there is no excuse for you not to go ahead and buy it so buy it like come on come on guys great fabric great print five star rating if you don't believe me you can check it out so just, i promise you it'll be the best purchase you'll ever make in your best purchase making your entire life so go and check it out link is in the description and in my bio so go check it out thank you <laughs> Hey everyone, it's me Saskia, welcome to welcome back to my YouTube channel. And loads of you have been wondering how I get my perfect moon buttons. Every in most of my videos I have well not most of them. In some of my, my videos I have moon buttons and some of you ask how to get your moon buttons so perfect. So this is the video where I'm going to teach you how I get the perfect moon button. So um pretty much all you're gonna need two hair ties, a hairbrush and some bobby pins and yeah, I'll talk you through it. So I have pink hair at the moment, so it's gonna look great on top. Much. Just gonna brush out my hair. Okay. And then you're just gonna grab any side you want, pretty much. Attempt to make it even. And then pull it up into a pigtail. Up. Oh. I like to do is I like to bring a little bit down just so I can have a little bit of hair to make it look like really cute and then just get a hair tie and tie it up that is a really bad pigtail but I don't care then should do the same on the other side It honestly does not matter what hair ties you use because you won't even see them. So yeah, I I look like Sailor Moon on the lawn. Low-key cute, but doesn't suit me. If I had red on one side and blue on the other, I'd so look like Harley Quinn right now. Anyway, okay, and then this is where you get your bobby pins. So... Get a bobby pin, and this is the part where you really got to focus, so put it in your mouth, and then you've just got to roll it up, and then you just got to wrap it around. You have to have quite a lot of patience, because it's going to take a while to get it pretty perfect, so just do it a temp. Just do the amount of attempts until you're happy. I have really bad eyesight and I'm really far away from my mirror right now, so apologies. And then when you've got how you want it, split that and then you have to bobby pin where your excess hair is at where it stops and then you've got to be quick because usually it unties so then add more bobby pins just to make it more secure and then as you can see you've got these bits and then we're just going to bobby pin them down to make the perfect thing because you can never make it too perfect so you've just got to work with what you've got.
there you go. So that's one down. It looks pretty good. Um, and then there's just one more to go. So obviously I won't talk through this one because if you didn't get it then just go back to watch me do this one. But it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, so yeah, now I'm going to move on to this one. That is how to achieve my moon bun look. Um, it is not completely even, it does not look the best, but that is because I'm not going out. If I was going out, I'd make it look the best I could, but this is probably a sit at home, do it funny. But this doesn't take the quickest, but it isn't the longest. So if you have about 20 minutes to go out and you don't exactly have the right amount of time to do your hair, um, just stick some moon buns in and you'll be great. I have worn these to school before and they have stayed in the whole day. Just make sure to put some hairspray um, in them and you'll be great. I'm not putting hairspray in mine because I'm not going out. But that is how to do a cute, um, perfect moon bun look. If you want me to do more tutorials like those, I like suck at tutorials. I apologise, but let me know down below. Dad, can you shut up? worked. Anyway guys, thank you so much. Stay happy, stay safe and stay quiet. I'll see you in my next video.